everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today I've got some really, really awesome units to show you. Actually, basically just one unit. Uh, and it is, well, you saw by the episode title. This is the cavalry unit, or the horse unit in the game. So, let's take a look at it. Here he is! Here he is, the lovable derp. The lovable derpy horse, Mr. Wiggly. Wiggly neck. That is him. That's the horse. That's how he plays. No, I'm, I'm actually kidding. This is a, a clip. This first clip that I've got uh, is from the developers in their testing phases and the different phases of testing the horsey out. Look at that gravity phase. Falls down the ground. Kind of moves a little bit. His tail is totally rigid. And now he's a fish. We need a giant land whale. Can you imagine like a land whale or, or a, like an animal? I'd love to see an animal. Um, what's the word? An animal faction where we have bears and we have like llamas, the vicious attack llamas. That'd be fun. Ooh, the over the excited face. This is like when a dog comes, when you come home, your dog is out the door jumping at you. He's super excited to see you running in circles, bouncing up and down. Yep, and don't skip the leg day phase. That's totally what it looks like. Oh, baby steps. Looks like the body got a little smaller, the legs got a little bit bigger, and he's starting to walk, which is really, really good. Good for him. And look at the, the modeling on the neck. It looks. Uh, it's still a low poly art style, but this is a really complex model compared to some of those uh, out there like the peasant <laughs> The peasant is just kind of a, a low end and easily put together part of their their uh, Yeah, even those guys. They're just Big polygons not the big ones now watch gonna run through this is really awesome Finally gets the army working where they are running through mowing down the peasants like crazy they have the, the spearmen on the back of it. So uh, for these videos, the um, the hit points were turned off from the horses, so they were invulnerable. They couldn't die, but they still do really, really awesome things. So this guy in the front, you see that? He rolled over, he landed on his side. He's actually going to get back up, too. So he gets back up and he mows over the peasant. That is awesome. I really, really like that. So we're going to take another look at this. We're going to watch this one more time, just because I think it's really cool. Look, come at me, bro face. <laughs> just wiggling back and forth. It'd be fun if he attacked that way. Just smack and smack and smack like a fish. Like, give her hold a fish and the tail starts flopping. You can't hold on to it. That's what it's like. And then we got this guy, the rubber phase, and testing out the gravity. It looks pretty good to me. Bounces pretty good. Like a piece of clay or Play-Doh. Um, can't figure out how to walk. <laughs> yep, I love that face. I love that one. And the spinning phase. This just does remind me of a puppy. Come on, when you come home and it runs around the house with his tails between the legs, like all excited for you. Yep. This is that. That's it right there. That's what it looks like. And you're jumping up and barking, it grabs your leg. Yep. And then we have spaghetti legs. Spaghetti monster. Bloop, 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 bloop. And I watched. See, the body looks like it got a little bit smaller, and the legs got a little bit bigger. And he is walking. It's so cute. The little guys grow up so fast. And now, they did say that he's going to get the googly eyes eventually. So, Mr. Horsey is going to get be a googly-eyed monster along with the other one. So, when he dies, his, his eyes will go X's. And, uh, speaking of dying, uh, they also said that if he does die, then the rider will still be allowed to, to get off and run around. Unlike, like, the Huacha. If the Huacha, as soon as the Huacha is done, then the, you know the rider of the watcher or whatever the gunman of the watcher is dead uh, he dies right away it'd be kind of nice to see that change if this one changes that'd be good to change i'm also wondering would it be possible to put any unit that we want on there so we have the spearman on there right now well can we put the footman on there can we have a knight like an armored knight would be really cool high hit points got a big uh a big shield tower shield sort of thing do they have tower shields no they don't they have like the diamondy shape ones so we do have some more battle shapes here and they have they've got uh, that smoke coming up in the background so that's kind of new for this clip and we have a, a full load army and they're running through they're gonna mow down the shield men boom right over top of them now look at how big these guys are i want your guys' feedback on how large these horses are because they're straight up draft horses they're big they're giant you can see the the regular like spearmen and footmen, or not footmen, um, the farmers and the shieldmen, they come to like the shoulder of the horse. And I mean, that's that's a pretty powerful big horse. I'd like to see what you guys think on, on if you like the bigger horses or if you'd like to see them a little smaller. Uh, also, what kind of other animals? Maybe an elephant, a rideable elephant? That'd be cool, I think. Ooh, poking the horse in the butt with the pitchfork. Oh, is he going down? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. That's what I thought, because they turned the hit points off. They're invincible. They're jumping around. Look at that. Nay. Oh, great. We're going to have neighing sounds. It's not good. So I'm bad at neighing like a horse. 
I really like this. This is a really cool animation to me. I love how they slide in, lay down, but look at how big they are. They're gigantic horses. And now, now we have them chasing, I have not seen this clip. They're chasing around. Yeah, they're all excited. They're chasing around the, the chariot. I wonder if we're going to get a new chariot model. So we're going to take a look one more time at this little, this little fella right here. The, uh, the horseman, the cavalry unit. Tell me what kind of units you'd like to see on the back of the horses too, or what faction you think this would be the best for. Maybe the Napoleon faction? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, developers also said that they're working on the campaign. They want the game to be, when the game is fully released, they want the game to have two separate parts. The campaign, which you start in Stone Age, and as you get bigger and bigger, as you unlock more levels, you unlock more guys. So think Stone Age guys, Adelatl, uh, slingshots maybe, just rock throwers. And then as the as the years progress, as you beat different levels, you rank up into like the... Uh, you go into the different uh, tech eras, maybe in Bronze Age, then you go into Napoleon, and um, you can go to the Asian faction, and you unlock the different factions as you go forward, and eventually ending up, I'm guessing, with the Neon. Uh, you go through World War One, World War Two, and then you get the Neon faction. So maybe the Archers versus Neon faction, or Slingshotters, or some other Stone Age unit. So if you do have a Stone Age unit, too, uh, we did some of that. You guys were saying the Adelatl, and a few other really good weapons, so that's really cool. So go ahead and drop those down below too, if you have anything, and discuss them with other people. You guys like to do that. So very nice. We're going to take a look at the uh, chariot one more time. The horsey's chasing the chariot around. I really don't like that um, chariot skin anymore since it's January, mid end January. Anyway, let's get into viewer suggestions. Alrighty, we're going to start it off with Atomic Number versus Froggit on YouTube. Says, fight me, mate with an army of one Trump, one Hillary, one Samurai Master, one Ninja Master, one Laser Sword Master, one Axeman, one Chicken Man, one Chariot, and one Super Boxer. That's everything on the blue team. That's a pretty good sized battle. Oh, some really powerful units too. Trump and Hillary are really, really strong. Uh, and then this one over here is, man, this is kind of crazy. Three Energy Sword Masters, six Energy Sword Apprentices, two Ninja Masters with four Apprentices, three Samurai Masters, Five energy pistols, one projectile shield, two beamers, and one ultimate Dan, which is a super boxer. Seven boxers, six daves, two archers, and 20 jacks. The reason I did this one, I mean, we're, we're 62 to 9. Like, there's 62 people over here compared to 9 over here. But the money's kind of the same. So I wanted to try it. I just wanted to see what would happen. Uh, for the next video, what I want you guys to do is we're going to do another challenge in the campaign. So tell me one unit uh, and vote up the unit. Like, if you see somebody saying it, vote up the unit that you want me to beat the campaign with. We're going to be doing that for the next video. So let's start it out this way. We'll see what happens. My bet is, you know, I don't know. Uh, my bet is going to be on the blue team. I'm going to say the blue team. Just because uh, we got Trump and we got Hillary here, and they're going to be throwing down a ton of junk. And it, it really depends. Ooh, I forgot about the beamers. I might take the beamers out and we'll try it again. Yeah, stupid beamers. So broken. Yeah, wow. Okay, that wasn't even close. We're going to take out the stupid beamers because I hate them and they smell bad. Let's get rid of these guys and we'll start again because that took out almost everyone in our army. Okay, let's do it. Here comes, here comes the chariot running through. Oh, we need the big horses. We need the knights in this one. Here comes the axemen. Axemen died. We got a, we got the Jedi battle. Ooh, looks like the red Jedi has become victorious. Uh-oh. And now a Jedi versus the army of Dave. Uh-oh. Dave's down. Dave's done, so. And now who's this? Oh, who, who, did you see that? Oh, boy. It looks like just that one Jedi left. They got overwhelmed. Even though the money is relatively the same. Yeah, you can kind of expect that. Let's take out these guys and try it again. And now, blue team should have more money, but we don't have any of the overpowered lightsaber dudes. None of the beamers and oh, the super boxers. I like the super boxers. I really enjoy them. I like the neon boxers, too. Neon boxer might be my favorite thing in the game right now. In the in the game that I have access to, anyway. Oh, lightsaber man. You're going to get beat up. You're going to get beat up, lightsaber dude. You're getting beat up by the super boxer. Oh, super boxer just got smoked. That'll do it. That'll do it right there. We got the big Samurai Master who dies. Very nice. Okie dokie. Next up is So Cool Salamander versus Battlefield 4 Ghost Gamer Cod. 
Sure. Uh, we had five M16s, two projectile shields over here, with 25 lightsaber dudes. And on this side, we have eight peasants spread out, three M16s, seven chicken men, and then two projectile towers. So this is something interesting. Uh, you guys might not know this. Uh, projectile towers block both sides. They just block any projectile in the air. So these guys are going to get blocked by those, and then these M16s are going to get blocked by those towers. And I think that blue team will have clear victory. Yeah, look at this. See, it's blocking all of the bullets that are coming in. All of the bullets. And I actually have heard that the projectile towers also block the chickens. So that's kind of crazy. I didn't expect that. This is kind of nice defense over here for the, the red team. The blue the blue is going that way. Um, or the Yeah, the blue projectile shields are, are dominating. Oh, project, or the guy just went down. And it looks like some of the chickens are finally starting to get out. No, the chickens are dead. Chickens are dead. Uh-oh, just a few of the peasants left. Mm, we need to be, we need to beef up the red team a little bit. Might remove both of the projectile tower sides because they're kind of broken right now. Uh, yeah, let's beef these guys up. Let's add in one giant chicken man man. And we'll remove... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. We'll just do that. I'll see if this will work. Because this first army is pretty nasty. Maybe I should have put that giant chicken man man in the front. Let's do that. Now I want to see the chicken man man. If we are allowed to put the units on the horses, I want to see a chicken man man riding a giant stallion. I think that'd be awesome. Like a, a big, big horse. Like a gigantic horse and he'd ride around the map and it would leg out and then it would be awesome. And they just totally mowed through the entire army here. Yeah, it didn't work at all. Red team lost. This is a really good setup, I think. Uh, red team has a lot more money, but blue team's got a lot more units. So we have nine units versus 68, but they're powerful. I think this might be possible. We have Alpaki versus generic username. One box gun, one chicken man man, four energy sword masters, one huacha, and two projectile shields versus 40 thieves spread out in front. That's kind of what I did there. Uh, 12 footmen behind 10 shields. And then we have three energy swords behind that, two ballistas, and a catapult in back. I am very interested in this. I think this one will be very close. We'll have to see what the box cannon does. Oh, no. I like how these arrows fly backwards. Uh, the box cannon totally dominated the team. And it looks like the projectile shields are blocking the things I didn't want them to block. Uh-oh. Oh, the box landed right on them. Is it pulsing? Oh, no. It's pulsing now. It has to get hit. Oh, it's going to blow up. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Yes. Oh, there it goes. It blew up. Chicken Man has been catapulted forward towards the catapults. And this is pretty close. Oh, bonk. Wow, what is it? Oh, did you see that? The projectile shield was shooting the arrows on the ground. That was cool. Oh, and it looks like... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We have the catapult out. Or the, the ballista out. Hit him. Hit him in the face. Oh, nice. Oh, red victory. Wow, see, I, I thought that would work. I want to try that again. Uh, we might get a different... What in the world? <laughs> what happened to him? What happened to that dude? Oh, he got back up. He dropped his sword. It's always fun in games until you lose your sword. And now, oh, bonk. Nice shot. Uh-oh, they're going to drive over another box. Boom, nice hit with the catapult. It looks like the, the uh, box cannon's kind of out of commission. Let's see if these ballistas can take out the energy sword masters. Oh, that was a perfect shot. Exactly what was needed. Oh, hit him, hit him. Yes, yes, he's out. Boom, a catapult to the chest. I like this. This is a lot of fun. These are these are the kind of battles I want you guys to give me because these are I like these the best. And uh oh, uh oh, one ballista left. Oh, it was so close. I feel I feel deep inside of my bones that this will work. We're gonna try it. Oh, there they there comes the Huacha. Huacha projectile shield's kind of protecting them still. That's okay. Ooh, and the blue team just got roasted by the barrels. Now there are a few barrels left. Let's see if it'll work. Catapults in. All the blisters are still up. Uh, ooh. Oh, did you see that? The neon boxer just decided to turn the dude around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not working. Not working. I gotta... This has to win. I'm gonna put some more blisters in. All right, I added two more blisters. Actually, let's get rid of these because they don't do anything uh, other than just make a mess. Whee! And it'll help the red team a little bit clear down. Wait. It's not what we want. It's out now. And now, okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Let's see. Oh, look at that. They got four boxes right over there. On, or there's five boxes now. Oh, I just took out two. No, you nasty, you nasty. Dude, it's not fun. Okay, help. Help. Oh, hit him, hit him, hit him. 
Hit the guy in the face. Nice. That's not the face, but it works. Ooh, and a nice shot there, and it took them both of them out. Wow. Man, I gotta do this. I love it. I love it so much. We're gonna try one more time because I feel like we took a bad a bad corner at some stuff. Take it. Take it out to watch you. We have a couple thieves left. The thieves are not gonna have a chance against the Sith. Okay. Oh, the box! The box has come in! The box did some damage. Oh! Did you? Did it kill? Did it kill the chicken man man? No, it didn't. Uh-oh. Come on! Come on, ballistas! Do your job! Ballistas, you didn't do your job. Now you're gonna lose. Look at this guy. Right here. Look at him. He has a ballista in his face. Boom! Uh-oh. Hey! Okay! Another, oh, they're all out. I need it. I'm gonna put in a bunch of... Uh, Ballistas. As we've said before, ballistas are my favorite unit in the game until they fall off the map. Um, it, you know, in the current game. I really like how they play. Uh, that was in a comment somebody asked me about. So, we'll see. Yes, this is it. And now, do they go all spaghetti monster-like if they get hit by a bunch of ballista bolts? I don't know. I don't know if we've tried that. These guys might still win. Ooh, maybe not. They are skewered. Uh-oh. The box cannon, though. The box cannon is OP. I really like the box cannon too, though. Uh, blow it up! Uh oh. Now we got we got an epic battle going on here. Box cannon. Oh, he's gonna blow up! He's gonna blow up! Box cannon's gonna get exploded. Did it die? Oh! He jumped out of the way. There are so many. Oh, it looks like he's out of commission. Oh no! Oh, he's out now. Ooh, and a perfect shot. A perfect missed shot. Let's see. We have three ballistas left versus the chicken man man. Boom! Perfect. There's the blue victory. That's what we needed was a buttload of a buttload of these dudes. All right, Oinky Junior has got an army of 100 Daves. So Dave is the footman. If you haven't been around the channel for very long, and then uh, Pug Party says to do one Hillary against 100 Daves. We'll see. Um, we have 2,000 versus 5,000 money. One versus 100. Can Hillary take down the vicious? Dave party? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, it's getting close. She does have some very high hit points too. So, oh, never mind. They have they have bowled over her. Let's see how many Hillary's it takes to kill that big puddle of of Dave's. And I did it over here, so it's a little bit clearer battleground. These maps, I like the maps, but I don't really like all of the junk in them, like all of the the pillars and stuff. I don't know if I like that. Uh, ooh, it's maybe working. It might work. Two Hillary's, Hillary and the cloned Hillary, taking on a hundred of the footmen. Oh, one Hillary's down. It's gonna take three. Oh, she got buried. Wow. Maybe she doesn't have a health health points. Five thousand hit points. Attack speed. I wish they did attack damage too. So we'll do a third Hillary in here, and that should be enough to take out the army of Daves or two hundred Daves or one hundred Daves. How many ever this is. Oh, there they go. I love the emails. The little Gmail icon. That's so funny. And slicey, slicey. Yep, that's doing it. That's doing it. Oh, she just got hit. Oh, she's getting hit in the back. The middle one did. Left one is, or right one's going down. And nope, right one's still alive. There it is. There. Oh, it is dead. Hurry up. Oh, you're so close. Oh, <laughs> just barely. A hundred versus three. That was kind of fun. And Dev the Dog says 100 Taekwondo guys versus a Chicken Man Man. This will be a good one, I think. Because uh, the Taekwondo didn't seem to have very... Very good uh, attack damage. And there's going to be a lot of chickens in here. The, the chickens one-shot all of them. But it will be fun watching them jump all around. Hit jumper all around like like pests. You ever go out to like a picnic in the park and there's ants? This is what it reminds me of. All of the guys jumping around on the legs. Oh, look at that wave. It's just a wave of kicking. You remember back like when peasants could take out absolutely everything in the game? That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Except they didn't take them out. Wow! How about 200 Taekwondoers? Uh, let's see. Come on, march your bad selves in. March your bad selves in. Yes, there they go. Jumping up. Now they're... Whoa! Where'd it happen to you? That one was, that one was trying to crowd surf. Uh-oh. Are they gonna do it? I don't think. I don't think he can. It'd be kind of fun to have little hit point bars above their heads, wouldn't it? Maybe. And like a toggleable option that you could toggle on and off. Man, they're not, they're not doing very well. Taekwondo guys have never been very good, in my opinion. I don't know how many it would take to kill this guy. <laughs> Just a big puddle of dead Taekwondo guys. Look at Even the chicken men can't even walk down here. <laughs> They're just dead. This guy's getting his face pooped on. 
over and over again. There's the blue victory. Okay, 300 to 1. Maybe, eventually, it'll work. I don't know. I have no idea. Look at that giant wave of guys jumping in. Jumping on the legs. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, I definitely think that these guys could get a little bit of a refresher on new art. Uh, new art. Seeing after that, that horse in the beginning of the video and how nice the polygons were on that compared to this. Just giant blocky polygons. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think about that. A refresher on some of these units to get a little bit more polygons in. Kind of a little smoother body. Because they have like... I mean, there's two on the face, and then and then the head is two. It's just not not very um, polygony, right? I guess they could move from like the Nintendo 64 era into something else. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think about that. It works. It's fine. I'm cool with it. But it'd be kind of nice to see some refresh, a little bit of relove to some of these units. I can't make it go any faster. Wow! Look at how deep that that puddle of guys is. There's a really really big army here. Huh. Okay. Do they go down? Is he going down? I don't know. I don't have any idea if he can make it. Oh, and it's so slow. Because there's so much stuff going on. All the chickens. Oh, there's the red victory. So 300 can kill one guy. So guys, that is all of the time I've got for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.